Hello, and thank you so much for listening to this series on the fruit of the spirit brought to you by mcwwisdom.com. Find us at www.mcwwisdom.com. Okay, we've been talking about the fruit of the spirit. If you have not heard all of the foundational lessons, lessons one through five, then you definitely need to go to our YouTube page and access those lessons. Right now, we are talking about the fruit of peace. Remember, you can find all nine fruit of the spirit in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 25. We've talked about love, we have talked about joy, and now we are talking about peace. In one of the previous lessons, I talked about uh, the incident when my car got stolen many years ago, and people around me were asking me how I was able to be so calm, and I gave that as an example of peace. When your circumstances are chaotic, but you are still able to remain stable and strong and relaxed and focused, Oh, that is a gift from God. So let's look at some scriptures about peace. Let's go to John chapter 14, verse 27. Again, I'm reading the New Century Version of the Bible. It says, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. So don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This is what Jesus is saying to us. He's saying, I'm giving you my peace. You have the peace from the Spirit of Christ abiding within you. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is working within you. The world cannot give you this level of peace. Look at what is happening in our world. Even the good things that are happening cannot give you a peace that you cannot understand. (laughs) He said, don't let your hearts be troubled, your minds, your wills, your emotions, which is your soul. Do not let your soul be troubled. Your soul or your heart is your very innermost being. Don't let that be troubled and don't let it be afraid because Christ has given you this level of peace that surpasses understanding. Okay, let's go to Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. It says, You, O Lord, give true peace to those who depend on you because they trust you. What is the foundation of your peace? Trust in God, dependence on God. That is the foundation of your peace. You cannot trust your paycheck. Believe me, I know. You cannot trust other people all the time. When you keep your faith and your dependence on God, your trust in God, that gives you peace. Let's go to the New Testament and take a look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Oh, two, 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 two. <laughs> okay. But run away from the evil desires of youth. Try hard to live right and to have faith, love, and peace together with those who trust in the Lord from pure hearts. Faith, love, and peace, those are all fruit of the Spirit as well. What is Timothy saying? Try to live right. A lot of times we don't have peace in our lives because of the crazy things that we do, the things that we do that get us in trouble. You know, those things you really know you shouldn't, but you do it anyway, and then consequences follow. So whatever that thing is that you have done to cause drama in your life, drama means you are not peaceful. So it is best to live right and to live drama free so that you may have peace in your life. And I'm going to just, as the young people say, sit that right there and let you think about that. What areas in your life are causing you drama that's causing you to be anxious or distressed and causing you to lose peace, then that is something you need to give to God and that you need to clean up, that you need to stop doing, that you need to make right. Okay, so once again, peace is a fruit of the Spirit that brings a sense of assurance that everything is going to be fine despite what it looks like. You are able to relax when you are in peace. God gives you perfect peace if you stay focused on Him. 
set your mind, set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth and your peace will get stirred so that you feel peace even if things around you are chaotic. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to go back and listen to all the previous lessons, mcwwisdom.com. Just click our YouTube icon. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless.